If this program hadn't been here, I would have probably been on the street for at least a week before I could go anywhere, which was honestly a good percentage of why I had the breakdown to begin with, is I didn't want to be on the street. And I couldn't function well enough to do the things to prevent that. So the project is a 24-bed crisis residential program um, designed to serve individuals with co-occurring substance use and mental health disorders and who are also experiencing a crisis episode. Jessica was referred to us through the mobile crisis team who brought her directly over here for admission um, upon their assessment and since working with Jessica we have noticed an improvement in her level of engagement um, in her symptom management. She really came to us at a time when she was experiencing a true crisis and needed some extra help. What we do here is we reach out to those individuals or that population that would otherwise be fairly unserved, if not entirely unserved. Uh, most of our clientele really have no access to psychiatric care, much less even other you know, social services. There are people out there that need a lot more help than me. And this is why places like this and support systems like this are so vital because they're already struggling. Even in here, they're struggling. But if this wasn't here, the destitution would be a hundred times worse and it would be visible all over the streets of this city. I think much of our clients, uh, they spiral down because of the lack of care. And in doing so, uh, they're unable to really advocate for themselves and to have someone such as us who can advocate for them we actually end up empowering them and uh, they, they, they serve themselves which is exactly the role of a program such as this. So it requires not only initiative from the patient but a sort of directness from the patient that I feel if you want to get better you can get better here